Good morning. Welcome to this Monday Minute. We're continuing our study through the book, The Life of the Believer, and we're in chapter four, How Do I Fight Spiritual Battles? You know, most of the struggles that we face in this life are not physical struggles. You know, the arguments with family members or the struggles uh, with someone at work. It's not a, a physical struggle, a struggle between you and them, but there's often a spiritual component behind it. Ephesians 6.12 teaches us, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. There is a warfare going on that we are often not aware of. You see, there are two kingdoms in this earth. There are this, is the kingdom of light, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God. And then there is the kingdom of darkness or the kingdom of Satan. And these two kingdoms are warring against each other behind the scenes. And we need to know how to fight this battle using spiritual weapons so that we can have the victory. I look in America and we see the struggle over abortion. That, that's a spiritual struggle. And I think it's the prayers of Christians throughout this nation that brought about the Supreme Court ruling that we had recently. It's a spiritual battle. And right now we need to continue to fight that spiritual battle because that battle now is in the hearts of people as they're looking at this ruling and they're, they're thinking from a worldly perspective, hey, they take away our rights, but it's really they're being influenced by an evil spirit, I believe. And so we as Christians need to continue to fight the battle the battle was not the Supreme Court ruling. The battle is on our knees. And so over the next several weeks, we'll talk more about that. You have a great week. God bless.